The first thing you do when applying your lip color is first to prime the lip. I'm using a lip balm to prime a ruler's lips. Now what happens with the lip balm is that it plumps the lips. It's also mushed in all that dryness and if you tend to have uh, lines, it, it fills it in. And then the next thing, it makes it actually very easy for the lip liner to go on. So best way to define your lips is to have your mouth closed. And um, feather the lip pencil inward. Instead of drawing a hat line, give it a feathering effect. And that way it bases the pencil for your lipstick to stay on better or if for lip gloss but always give it a feathering motion from out inwards and kind of little strokes. Do the same way on the other side, giving it very little strokes. And like I was saying, using the lip balm, just, just it gives the lip such a nice moist effect that even by just using the lip pencil over, it will look like you have lip color on, on top. You don't even have to put a lipstick can just lift that by itself, especially on a weekend when you don't feel like doing anything. And the next step is use your lip color over the lip balm and the lip pencil. Right now I'm using a baby pink lipstick which is called Innocence. Very pretty, very clean. Love the look because it goes with her natural eye look. And um, great thing about also our lipsticks is that they are highly moisturizing. But very important, always use a lip brush when uh, filling in your lipstick, especially for uh, mature women because it prevents lipstick from settling into lines. The next thing is to finish up the lip using a lip gloss. That gives such a nice, beautiful, clean look. Look at that. We are done. First thing you do your skincare regimen, your eyes, foundation, concealer, set with the invisible, De define the cheeks using the right blush, your lipstick color, and look, it's all come together to a beautiful natural look.